Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is Artificial Reef Project in Kerala. Kerala's Fisheries Department launched a sea ranching project off the coast of Tiruvananthapuram to enhance fish stocks as a follow-up to the Artificial Reef Project. Under PWMSY, that is Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, 20,000 pompano fingerlings were released near Visijam to replenish natural fish populations and promote sustainable fishing. Now moving on to key project highlight, initial release. The first batch of 10 lakh pompano and cobia fingerlings were deposited across 10 locations with artificial reefs to restore marine biodiversity. Artificial reef setup. Artificial reefs were previously installed at 42 sites of Tiruvananth Puram's coast, attracting fish varieties like tuna, mackerel and trevally. Project Inauguration Minister of State for Fisheries George Kurian inaugurated the project from a Coast Guard vessel with the support of Kerala's Fisheries Minister and senior officials. Now let's discuss about future plans and expansion. Funding and Approval The 3 crore rupees project received funding from the National Fisheries Development Board and aims to extend artificial reefs beyond Tiruvananthapuram, awaiting further sanction. Expansion Plans the second phase proposes expansion to 96 villages in Kollam, Alapujha, Ernakulam and Thrissur district at a cost of Rs 29.76 crore with plans for the northern districts in phase 3 at Rs 25.82 crore. Broader conservation goal by creating artificial habitat, the project seeks to provide sustainable fishing options and protect marine life in Kerala's coastal waters. Now is the time for practice question. Under which scheme is Kerala's sea ranching project funded? Atmanirbhar Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, Kisan Vikas Yojana or Swachh Bharat Abhiyan? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.